Apparently you guys have been paying attention to our video blogs about Gladys because we haven't had one out in a while and we're getting a lot of emails wondering what's going on with Gladys. So uh, in this case, no news is good news because everything's going great with Gladys. Uh, we're just kind of in a holding pattern right now with Gladys, Mara, and Malinzi living very happily together. They come out every day here at the zoo from 12.45 to 3 o'clock. The best time to come and see them is right around 1.30. Uh, but they're, they're, they're just a regular little group of gorillas uh, in our family group here. Uh, they spend a lot of time getting to see the other gorillas from all kinds of different angles. That's kind of been our main focus right now, is setting up all of the bedroom areas so that Gladys can safely be in them. Some of those areas have real high shelves. So what we've done is we've hung some climbing apparatuses off of these high shelves. So if, for instance, Malinzi or Mara kind of parks Gladys up there, Gladys can very easily climb down off of those bedroom shelves. Uh, and we've also put some finger protectors over some of the windows between the bedroom areas. So we can easily put Gladys, Mara, and Malinzi right next door to Jomo the silverback and the other females and we don't have to worry about Gladys sticking any little fingers through in the Jomo side so they can see each other and they can live next door to each other and the rest of the gorillas can just accept that trio as just a regular little group of gorillas as opposed to Gladys getting all that special attention she was getting from the human surrogates for so long. So that's kind of where we're at now. It's working real well. Gladys is getting stronger every day. She takes her formula very well from us. She can climb all over those bedroom areas, just like the other gorillas do, and uh, she's doing quite well. So one other reason, a little bit, that we may have delayed some of our video blogs is that uh, I have recently incurred an injury. I heard it playing softball. But what the cool part of it is, I, had, I actually had my bicep tendon tore and I had to have it surgically reattached. But the best part of wearing a cast when you get to work at the Cincinnati Zoo is you can have Gladys the gorilla autograph it with her footprints. So that's one exclusive autograph for a cast. And so Gladys is doing great, keeping an eye on her. We'll update you with anything new that comes along.